guys out there, you are watching Dolly and Thomas from Mars Moon Space TV. Where we like to bring you the very best that we can find to support our ongoing quest for life out there in the universe. If you like our videos, don't forget to click like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Welcome back guys to Mars Moon Space TV with Dolly and Thomas. Take a look at this video we have found. Thomas, what are we looking at here? Yeah, that is a very good question. Mm -hmm. What are we looking at here? Uh, is it uh, an optical illusion? Is it a... Uh a hole in the cloud. Is it? Is it a UFO? Is it a plane flying underneath the, the plane that uh, the guy is in that filmed this? It just doesn't look right, does it? I mean, is it some kind of light phenomena or yes. optical illusion? It's it's filmed from a plane window, or is it CGI again? You know, we've we've scoured thousands of these, and uh, we've been looking through. There's a lot of CGI out there. There is indeed, and we've been looking through uh, the internet for a lot of videos like that. Unfortunately, we don't have much information uh, about this specific video uh, that we found on the YouTube channel Alien Planet. We don't know much about it. Uh, there's not really anything added to it. We just found it mysterious. Mysterious. But take a look at this one. Now this one, Thomas, yeah. this captured my attention. This has been filmed from, I'd say, military aircraft yeah. by the look of the, the information that's reading on the log on and the it's, screen. And it's from 2013, you can see in the top left corner. But he, look, let's just leave you watching this just for a moment. It's bizarre, they're, they're tracking this. It's no bigger than a car. No, a little bit smaller than a car maybe. Uh, I know later we will see it flying over a little road where there are some cars driving underneath it. You can compare the size. And it's, it's quite near to civilian housing, isn't it? It is, flying straight over some houses in just a few seconds. And it, it was captured by a coast guard, I do believe, that was tracking this along the coastline. Mm. And uh, this is way back in 2013. And uh, you'll see it. I think we have the road coming here in Coming just a few so seconds. close to the road. Uh, and, and housing. People must have seen this. Look at that rooftops. It went right the way through there. And here we and have the road cars. and the cars. That's bizarre. That is a really bizarre one. What are we looking at, guys? Uh, please leave a comment in the comment box uh, on YouTube or on Facebook and tell us what you think we could be looking at. Is it, is it, is it a hoax? Is it CGI? Is it something real that the could, coast guard... Could it be a drone? Could it be a military drone? That's a possibility, yeah. There we have a shoreline. Look, there's waves. But this gets even more bizarre, because as they're tracking it, this object seems to disappear, look. It, it, it does. It's like it's skimming there just under the it, ocean pops up. It did look like it just uh, popped yeah, down for, a, for down. a second. Or, or maybe it's just the uh, video quality, uh, I don't know. But it, it, We've it did. covered these before. It did pop down. We've it, covered undersea it like it objects before. Down, yeah. And a, ARVs, which are alien reproduction vehicles, that the military have said and, and said to have. But mm. this is... Could it be one of the small secrets we just have seen here in, in this video? It just goes nowhere and it's mm -hmm. 
gone and they we try to find some more information oh, about it. this uh, video here but uh, the only thing we actually could find in the video description that it's we gone. leave a link to on youtube it's is gone. that is called ufo aquadilla coast amazing. guard uap that's about all the information we have about this video so this is not military or anything like that this is a coast guard that that's picked this up that's got infrared this cars look According they're looking to, for it again that's amazing yeah. i get excited when i see these things guys because it's <laughs> it's, it's uh, you know could mm. it be cgi we could have it? so many of these you know coming forward that are not we we have much more upcoming for you we have uh, decided to take in some some news clips today from around the world and the first one is from Fox News. Oh yeah, this is disclosure. With the Navy, I do believe. Take a look at this. The U.S. Navy is preparing new guidelines for pilots on how to report sightings of UFOs. The military reports there have been strange sightings of unauthorized or unidentified aircraft over its airspace in recent years, though no confirmed encounters with anybody from some other place. But the Navy is updating its process so that investigators can look into each individual report. Our national security correspondent, Jennifer Griffin, is live at the Pentagon. Hey, Jen. Hi, Shep. Well, the Pentagon closed its office that dealt with UFO sightings in 2012 when Congress, in essence, stopped funding it. That office was called the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program. Now, after a series of unusual encounters by Navy jets, like this one in 2017, showing an F-18 Super Hornet encountering an unidentified object, the Navy has decided it needs to codify how its sailors and pilots record such unexplained events in case these flying objects are, in fact, some kind of advanced aircraft sent by the Russians or Chinese to spy on the U.S. military. In essence, the U.S. Navy and Pentagon are trying to destigmatize reporting what they call unexplained aerial phenomena. Today, the Navy issued a statement, quote, the Navy is updating and formalizing the process by which reports of any such suspected incursions can be made to the cognizant authorities. A new message to the fleet that will detail the steps for reporting is in draft. In response to requests for information from congressional members and staff, Navy officials have provided a series of briefings by senior naval intelligence officials, as well as aviators who reported hazards to aviation safety. For many years, it was considered a career ender to report these unexplained encounters, so many military personnel had downplayed them, Shep. Is there anything to the timing of this? Well, since 2014, there have been an increasing number of encounters. Most of them are suspected drones. After the 2017 F-18 incident and the release of this Navy video showing the pilot's reaction to the strange aerial encounter, the Pentagon established an office inside the Defense Intelligence Agency to study these recent phenomena at the urging of several U.S. senators who set aside $25 million for the new office. Among the incidents closely studied was an aerial incursion involving the USS Nimitz aircraft carrier strike group, which lasted several days and involved what pilots described as aircraft that flew in a manner that defied physics. Politico reporter Brian Bender broke the news of the Navy's new guidelines for reporting UFOs today. Shepard. Jennifer, thank you. So what they said in Fox News, and it was not just on Fox News, it was also on CNN and BBC and all the big channels is that now they are preparing or making a better guideline for pilots to report UFO sightings. A guideline that should be more easy and uh, it seems like there has been a fear among pilots of reporting UFO sightings as uh, a fear of losing their careers if they reported uh, UFO sightings. Is that what the, this new guide is? Wow, it seems that that it's changing, that they're, they're changing the way that these are going to be reported and finally taken seriously, maybe? Is it slow disclosure we are seeing here? It's disclosure. I'd say it's disclosure full on. And uh, this is the Navy and the mi military that are making reports of UFO sightings very mm. seriously and is putting $25 million aside to 
investigate and take Tw Pilot seriously. 25 million? 25 million dollars to build an office to handle all the Sightings. reportings. Mm. Mm. I wonder but, where, but where you heard her say that, that a lot of these were drones and drone sightings, but mm. this this one captured from 2017 that we are looking at is uh, is obviously not. Interesting you know? news from Fox News. Interesting news from Fox News. And so is our next video that we have here. We don't have much information about it. Uh, we no. saw it on a YouTube channel that was called uh, UFOs over NY, probably New York, and there was absolutely no information in the descriptions. Nothing. But there was a video. Yeah, there was there was a couple of videos, but then there was this one, and it's not got any info. But as you can see, it. Well, uh, to me, to be honest, it looked like I said fire lanterns. Hmm. You know those fire lanterns, those Chinese fire yeah, lanterns. Yeah, I remember when I was a child. I, I yeah. We did some of them. But then, if you oh, look at the, yeah, if you look mm. below, nothing. They're not moving, are they? The one to the left is actually still moving to the left, but it seems like the other ones have stopped standing still. And they're flashing, and this looks like there's a helicopter flying over to uh, perhaps take I a think, look. Yeah. What do you guys out there think we are looking at here? Uh, is it uh, China lamps? Is it? Uh, is it the military doing their 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 flare uh, things that they do? They're going in in each direction now and. Uh, what are we looking at? Well, that's odd because it seems to be two lights traveling together. And we have a helicopter that's flown right through there to see. It almost reminds me of the Phoenix lights. A little bit, yeah. A I, I little get what bit. direction you want to go, yeah, but yeah. But, yeah. but we don't know where this has been from in the world, no. you know? We've got a feeling it could be in New York, uh, going to the name of the YouTube channel we, we found it at. But it is, a, it is an interesting uh, video of light filaments over a city. Mm, for mm. sure, it's interesting. There's lots of flashing and things and happenings going on there. It's a bizarre Indeed. one. Unless we, we can find information and sources mm. um, on this, we can just put it down to, again, flashing balls of light that we can't explain. Mm, all interesting stuff, and I think we will leave it right there for now, because we get inundated with stuff that you guys send us and we if we find it we share it so keep it coming keep it coming guys and thank you to all those that has participated and check out our marsmoonspace.com check out the shop there where you can find some amazing goodies mm. from some of the stuff that we do over at Anunnaki History there and remember to give us a visit and a little like on Facebook next time you're on and check out our blog we have a blog now we have an upcoming new blog and links to books and all sorts of phenomenal things. So come check us out, guys. Take care out there. Yeah. Take care. Thank you for watching. Bye.